Stop the presses, gang. Got a special announcement. The Middle Class Famous Tour is in full effect. Get your tickies. Me, the bald one, the long hair. We're coming to a city near you. Mm -hmm. Bring the squad out. It's a great way to introduce people to the show. You get to see some stand-up. You get to play a little AYG with me and the Gipperino. It's a good time. Hit me up. Yeah, guys. We're going to be in Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Roseman. Guys, it's a great time. Can't wait to see you out there. Get your tickies now. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. Mm -hmm. I saw her leaving today yeah. in handcuffs. <laughs> yeah. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is my best pal in the whole wide world. I love you, buddy. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Uh, as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Fucking mm -hmm. cooking over there on YouTube. And uh, obviously, have to mention the greatest website Say of all it. time, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Sign up. You get bonus content. We do a whole other podcast on there called Hard Feelings. You get live streams, the whole nine yards. Check it the fuck out. Yes, sir. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. You know him. You love him. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What up, gentlemen. dudes? About to get some texts from the in-laws off this one. Yeah, Let's go, dude. <laughs> Got a big one in here. He ain't lying, gang. Because <laughs> we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly special guest here with us today for the first time. He is an extremely funny, extremely successful stand-up comedian podcaster, actor, and international sensation. <laughs> <laughs> he is one of the co-creators. <laughs> he is one of the co-creators and stars of the worldwide juggernaut that is Impractical Joker. They have sold out theaters and arenas all over the world. They have their own crews. This guy's got his own navy. Look the fuck out. <laughs> also the co-host of the Amazing Taste Buds podcast. But the big question about his mind today, is he garbage? I already mentioned the cruise, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> Give it up for the one, the only, Sal Volcano, everybody. Thank Holly you, guys. Boy. Thank you guys for having me. Staten Island kid made good. Look at you. That's ya. right. That's right. Look at you. Like the Wu-Tang Clan in here. <laughs> that's right. Suburbs, blue collar. I'm yeah, with you. What is it. the what is it? Give me the origin story. You grew up on Staten Island. Tell us the whole deal. Uh, yeah, I grew up on Staten Island, and that's uh, pretty much the deal. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very Staten Island answer. Yeah, game set. It's like you were talking to the NYPD. I was home. I was, I, I, I was on a ferry. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, bo I was born and raised there. Uh, hopped around a bunch, moved a bunch when I was little. I went to Catholic school. I actually went to Catholic school, grammar school, high school, and college. Really? Yeah, I mean, college was St. John's, but it was okay. a Catholic college. Yeah, 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 St. John's. That's a big theology. New York thing to do, get to St. John's. <laughs> it was like Monsignor Farrell, all boys Catholic. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I went to St. Joseph's parochial school. That was like a little neighborhood like, Catholic school. Uh -huh. sure. That's on St. Staten. All Farrell, of them were, all of them they're were all on Staten Island. A few minutes from, yeah, yeah. So you would take like the, the regular bus to school, or right? The summer For a high school, I took the bus, yeah. I the regular the, bus. Regular bus. Oh, that's, that's a tough look. Yeah, it's such a New York thing, man. There was a, Staten Island has one train. It's above ground. <laughs> and it has one line. It goes to the end and back. And if you if you were able to get to one of those train stations, you could hop on that because the train we had a station at the high school. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it would take a little extra leg work because you have to there. walk like twenty <laughs> minutes to get to that. Yeah. But then it was smooth sailing. Once you're on it, yeah. The bus was a little bit more seedy. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. imagine. New York buses are nothing to nothing to play with. Man. Yeah, and that's 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 early nineties. Yeah, that's Stat early nineties. Yeah, yeah, that was you were down with OPP or you weren't. <laughs> Yeah. What about your mom and dad? What did they do for a living? Brothers and sisters? Absolutely. So my dad was a sanitation man. Okay. Classic. New York, New York Staten Sanitation. Island City story, job? Baby. Yes, city Good job. Good Benny's? Yes. Nice? Yes. Growing up, he had a bunch of jobs. I don't mean that. No, like <laughs> this I, is getting No, no I don't mean that. No, like <laughs> Toby, cut this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need Joey the wrench coming in. <laughs> 
Just let's unplug these mics. Yeah. This, one. this guy's wearing a wire. Every time I see a tell, uh, I, I know him for years, but I don't know him very, very well, sure. like anybody else. Mm -hmm. And he always just assumes because I'm look, I'm half Italian, but okay. I'm from Staten Island. My name is Sal. Everyone always just stereotypes him right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. He always is like, every time he thinks I just want to talk Sopranos or, <laughs> or crime. Cabagool. He's always, he always like, they're making a Sopranos movie. You should audition. <laughs> or, he'll, or he'll be like, oh, yeah. And he'll just ask me mafia questions. And I'm like, man, I... Just scratched a little more of the surface with me, Dave. Please, I'm not that guy. I also love it. He thinks you need to play goon number three in the <laughs> Sopranos movie. Also, I, despite that. I got that, the garden later. Yeah. <laughs> can't do it. I'm going to ask you for your penny all vodka recipe. <laughs> despite that, too, sometimes like he calls me Saul. <laughs> Saul. <laughs> I'm Saul the mafia guy to him, I guess. I don't know. I never have the heart to correct him. <laughs> yeah, with guys like that, you're like, oh, okay, I'm Saul. I mean, yeah, I'm like, if, if I'm in front of him, if he's near me and someone's like, hey, I'm Bill, I'm like, hey, Saul Volcano. <laughs> I don't want to insult his nick, him. His nickname he's in the, the mob. God, I don't want to insult him. His nickname in the mob is the Moyle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they call him the Moyle. Uh, <laughs> what's the other half? You said half Italian, half. Uh, um, Cuban, Puerto Rican, oh, and a little okay. bit of actual Spanish. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This guy's got it all. So my That's dad, a smoothie right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Staten Island smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Give me the Saul Volcano. <laughs> and who's, whose sides are those? Like who's, who's Italian? My dad. Your dad's Italian yeah. and your mom is uh, Cuban, Cuban and Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican and a little Spanish, yeah. And brothers oh. and sisters. I have three sisters. Okay. Um, all, <laughs> all, all of them have three different moms. Okay. Okay. Right. So I have two. This halves. is why we play yeah, the game. There we go. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> About four minutes in. <laughs> we Can got, I go now? I'm garbage. We got I mean, sanitation workers. Three Staten different Island. moms. That's awesome. <laughs> my dad married when he was young, like, like 17. Okay. Oh, wow. And was married for a while. Um, my first sister, uh, my half sister, is from that marriage, and me and my uh, sister, another sister from my mom's, and mm -hmm. then. My dad is married to my stepmom for almost forty years now, wow. and that's okay. my third sister. Yeah. So they got. Okay. The, so your mom and dad got divorced. Did your mom remarry too? Like four. She did for like four years. Okay. Yeah, from ninety to ninety four, but that didn't take. Nobody <laughs> got rid of nobody. No, liked nobody them. That's liked a great them. way no. to explain a marriage. It didn't take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a lap dance. <laughs> now we rejected it. <laughs> <laughs> and is, so are they are they both from Staten Island, your mom and dad? Um, well, my mom was born in Brooklyn, but lived here from a young uh, in Staten Island from a young age. OK. And my dad. Uh, yes. Yeah, Staten Island. Yeah. And w was there your extended family out there, too? Extended. Yeah. So. So. so OK. So my mom. How Italian are we talking? That's what I want to know. How Italian? Okay. So my dad's side, very, very Italian. Okay. So his entire family on the same block. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. I'm talking like aunts, uncles, cousins, his mother, his father, everything. A block. And maybe, maybe corner, like another yeah. block. I mean, it was all within like you could shout from the window type of deal. That's awesome. They had chickens and, and stuff. I'm sure in the they back did. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Live chicken? Yeah. yeah. They, they, they had the them? coop. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, Sally, get no, over they, here and kill this No, rooster. they actually had a case of rubber chickens. <laughs> and that's kind of why I became a comedian. <laughs> Big pranksters, those volcanoes. <laughs> Long line like, of prop chickens. I'm like, no, the Phillies mascot. Was that? Was he a chicken? No. Who am I thinking of? Who the hell's that? The San Diego chicken. Oh, yeah, that's it. He what used is to be Philly's on this week in baseball uh, all the fanatic. time. The Philly <laughs> fanatic, course, and he's course, not fanatic. anything, really. Of course, of course, yeah. Would you do the seven fishes on Christmas? Uh, no, I mean, part of the family would. We wouldn't, but we did have a big meal. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it was more like I was probably seven fish adverse at that age. When you guys do Thanksgiving, is there Italian cuisine involved in that meal, or is it straight classic? The is there main, a little manicotti on the table? A main, the main is classic, but there's always a sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Like you're tipping a valet. Hit him with it. <laughs> Run in the garage and eat some gaba cool real quick. <laughs> Get your head on straight. Okay. All right. And you went to St. John's. Yeah, St. John's for college. Uh, majored in finance. I have a bachelor's degree in finance. All right. Wow. That's not Taking bad. care of the books. Yeah, yeah. Taking care of the I books. I like it. Um, Were you a good student? Yeah, I was a good student. Okay. I got a I got a, a scholarship to college for academic. Uh, yeah, it was it was like three quarters. What was I got to admit, I guess it wasn't a full. <laughs> what was the, what was the GPA? Uh, well, once I got in into college, it it was like between three and three five. It okay. wasn't anything crazy in high school though. Uh, like nineties. Really? Yeah. Wow. And what'd you get in your SATs? Do you remember? Yeah, I got uh, it was eleven ninety. Yeah, pretty Six, good. Six fifty and five forty. So and he remembers six fifty on the math. See, because we get wow. people in here that are like, I'm not sure, and it's yeah. like you fucking know what you got. Yeah, I okay? haven't thought of it in a while, but I do. I always remember it. Yeah. Any sports growing up? Yeah, not good, but like uh, 
<laughs> in grammar school, I played on uh, basketball and baseball, but again, not good. Um, we, we, we didn't have sports, and then they got sports while I was there. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's a tough one. Well, that's bad. <laughs> Never seen a basketball before. Yeah. So like one week, they're like, we have basketball now. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I, like, I shoot basketball by my house. Like, uh-huh. I'll go. And then like everybody was better than me. And so I got the last person. Cu- so it was sixth grade, I think. And there was seven, uh, oh, seventh grade. Seventh, eighth grade is made varsity, and then the rest went to JV, and I was like the last one cut from varsity, mm-hmm. but I wasn't good. Okay. But I ended up being the best on JV. Again, not good. There you go. We were 0 and 14. Oh. <laughs> My friend's mom uh, be, like was our coach. She never coached <laughs> basketball in her life. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Your friend's mom was the basketball coach? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. they were just like, who wants who, to coach? Yeah, who's, yeah. <laughs> who's, got, who's got afternoons free? <laughs> she had just gotten laid off, so she had <laughs> yeah. some time. So we were 0-14. I'll, I'll, I have, okay, so I, I was the MVP. We, had, we still had an awards dinner at the end of the year. Oh, my In, God. The MVP of an 0-14 team, Sal? 0-14 team. team. I, 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 got, I have the trophies to this day. Oh. I had 16 points on the season. <laughs> Four, 14 games. 14 games. Okay, well, we never scored. Only the last game of the season at halftime, we were up and we couldn't. We didn't even know. We looked up and someone went, "Holy shit, <laughs> we're, we're winning. winning!" And it was, a, and we lost. But uh, <laughs> the, the, the first game, we were like, "Are we going to be good?" I don't know. And then we're like, "Well, what if we, we what if we face a team that like has much more experience than us?" Blah blah. Turns That's out every that, team. The yeah. first team we played was from like a, a more urban area, mm-hmm. and the entire team was African American. Mm-hmm. Entire team. There was yeah. one kid on the team that was at least six foot two or three, and we were in six or seven grade yeah <laughs> and he mo- he looked me in the eye because you got to CYO early and you p- did practice drills sure. he looked me in the eye he moonwalked backward as he dribbled and they did a no look layup and I was like we're in trouble we lost we lost 44 nothing I didn't even score that game <laughs> no, we, we lost Sal couldn't even <laughs> score against them I mean, Sal we're yeah. talking about Sal and they shut down the MVP guys yeah. <laughs> hey shut him down I'm iced out over here this guy has one point a game he couldn't even do it. this guy's like in the NBA I, uh, I, I at one point one, one time I got I had a single single in a game I just picture all you kids out there in like in like suits and dress shoes and shit like yeah. that. And then and then at the end of that game, you always had to line up and you like slapped hands yeah. in the middle. Yeah, of course. And then you went upstairs and someone was designated to bring like high, like a like fun, treats. Uh, uh, high, what do you call it? Orange shit? high C, uh, high C, uh, uh, juice no, box, no, yeah. Capri Sun, Capri Sun. There we go. And like chips. And then you go upstairs and eat that. Car so load. the parents were going wild in the stands because their team was in basketball had a shutout. So afterwards, they were mer- they were unmerciful when we were lining up. The parents stormed, the, they stormed the court, and as we were lining up, they were next to their children, and they just started chanting a song in our faces, going forty four zip zip forty four zip. <laughs> I like it. I, I would have been out there. And they just with them. And, and it was just like we were little children. And we were like, damn, it was just. I'll never forget. I hear it in my sleep sometimes. <laughs> forty four zip man. zip forty four <laughs> zip, and they chanted it. From the calf court up to two flights of steps and into the Capri Sun room. <laughs> Sal's having him. panic attacks at Nick Games. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta Capri- give him credit. Shaking a Capri Sun. They put that song together pretty quick, all in unison. I know, I know. Any trouble when you were a kid? Did you get any trouble? Any fights? Anything like that? No, not really. I was a really good kid. That yeah. Way. I didn't like, I, I did all my, I went to school. I didn't cut. Or my sisters were a different story. How or, far apart, I was going to ask you, how far apart are you from them? Yeah, so my oldest sister, who, um, when she was younger, she moved to the West Coast. Okay. And she still lives there today. Okay. So my relationship with her is long distance. I go to visit them all the time. Sure. I didn't grow up with her. So growing up, I was the second oldest, so I was the oldest. Ah, okay. gotcha. <laughs> my other sister is three years younger. My other sister is uh, nine years younger. Okay. So you and the you and the one that was three years, you guys kind of mixed and mingled a little bit as far as like school and high school. Yeah, we were in the same grammar school together. Right. And they yeah. got in trouble? She did. She she ended up going to public high school and immediate. I mean, immediately got in with her. It's like she came home with the, the first day and she had a fucking pack of cigarettes. And my mother found an empty Zima in the bathroom. Oh, she's got a Zima. Zima. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. Well, she's got good taste. Though. Yeah. Those were big back in Those the day. Those things were all right back in the day. <laughs> she like got in with like I mean not a gang but like like sure. I, we would jo- I would joke about it with her because she was like she had a whole crew and if somebody messed with somebody and she had people. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 But Wait, not like she was she's a good kid but she really like she was cutting right away Damn. and she was hanging out with the wrong crowd right yeah. away i was like i i was like no absences studying for the SAT. like to, yeah like yeah. that kind of thing yeah oh. 
It's good shit. All right, good. all right. So far, so far, not too bad. Mm-hmm. Played a uh, uh, little baseball, and then in, in, in high school, I played ho- ice hockey. You played really? ice hockey yeah. on the team. Yeah, on the team. Yeah. That's not bad. When did they get that at the, at the school? They, they had, always they had were it? a good team. Yeah, That's but again, good. I didn't make varsity. <laughs> <laughs> I played the first couple of years uh, on JV, and then I, I tapped out after that. And how about St. John's? Were you working while you were in school or anything I was, like that? Yeah. What'd you do? Restaurant guy, right? Yeah, you well, gotta be. I started from my first job was 14 years old at a convenience store, 24 hours. Nice. I was there Doing five overnights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, notice how I throw in 24 hours like it's a brag. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, can you throw 24? Hours. Hours. Yeah, yeah. But still, they were open 24 hours. You need Not some, even in the blizzard of 94 did they close. You need some Lucy's and some milk. You come by yeah. and see me. I can straighten you out. Started Stock Boy, went to register, then eventually went to Deli. For the Deli night. was big. Deli if you made it to big. Deli, it was huge. It was like a dollar fifty bump up. Yes. Yeah, an hour. And mm-hmm. then, uh, so I was there 14 nights, but in my 19th year, when I was still there, I went down the block, and when I started, I started delivering pizza, mm-hmm. and I eventually passed the baton to just pizza, delivering pizza. That was lucrative. Yes. Comparatively. Really? Cash every night, too. Yeah, because Walking. I would make, you know, on a great night, like $10 to $15 an hour off the books. Yeah. Okay. Which was unheard of. Like, in the job I came from, I was at six twenty five on the on books. On the books. Damn. Yeah. So you're working your whole life, man. That's fucking- Yeah, yeah. It's commendable. Were you driving when you were doing delivery? Yeah. What was the car? Oh boy! Here we was go. Was it yours or theirs too? Okay, so I went through a lot of cars. Okay. Okay, so my first car ever was gifted to me from my parents at the time. My dad and my stepmom. It was their older car. Oh, they let me use it. They put they taped keys in the birthday card. That's pretty good yeah. though. I like that. It Stop was it. a 1985 Buick Skyhawk. Holy Sil- shit! Skyhawk. Sil- silver. Isn't it Skylark? <laughs> no, there's you a, had a hawk. I had a hawk. Oh man, it was, this guy's going off book. It was silver. We called it Quicksilver. I named all my cars. Of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> Uh, total that uh, I was going through an intersection and a, and a a van, a plumbing van that was at a red light, thought it turned green, and I was on uh, the side of the expressway, like the uh, mm-hmm. service road. Mm-hmm. So I, was, I had some speed there, cooking, and then I had bald tires. And then he went and I hit and I slid maybe a hundred feet with the bald tires, <gasps> hitting to him. Car went in like an accordion. I swear to God, I I got out of the car. The back and the front were right to here. The only thing that didn't get crushed was my seat. I just stepped out. <laughs> <Just right laughs> it, was like, it was like a cartoon. <laughs> hey, this will buff right out. Don't worry. <laughs> my dad knows a guy. Then, um, then, my dad, then I needed another car. So my dad, this is how we shopped for a car. My dad took me in his car, and we drove, we drove up and down the streets of the neighborhood just looking for a car that had written on it like for, for sale. sale. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. 1300 OBO. Or best <laughs> yeah. offer, yeah. And we got, um, at that time, we got, what was it? It was okay. So this is why I needed the car desperately too. No, no, wait, wait. That time we got a Plymouth Reliant K car. I know that brown. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. It was the old driver's ed car. Like, yeah. They sure. used to have two steering wheels. Mine didn't, but it, those are the ones I had yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I um, thought you were that, gonna be driving around with two steering wheels. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be <laughs> crazy, dude. <laughs> so that would be, <laughs> that'd be amazing. Nuts. Your You're boys <laughs> hitting the brake on you. <laughs> <laughs> Go to pick up a date. You got it a had, fucking second wheel. It had. It was eleven hundred bucks. It only had AM radio, so I put a Sony boombox with uh, batteries in the front seat, <laughs> yeah. bench seat. And I would play the boombox while I drove. Mm-hmm. Same intersection, same exact intersection. I was driving the uh, where the c- car was the other way. This was a, like a year later. A lady made a turn. I found out she was a toll booth collector that worked at the Verrazano Bridge that was right by there. She she made a turn and I slammed it. She cut off traffic. Slammed into a total that car. Mm-hmm. Okay, went to court. I won that. Okay. <laughs> what did you lose the other one? I might have been zero well, fourteen on the court, but I'm I'm one and I'm one, one and zero. The other one, the guy, I was, I was a little bit green in in car as far as car accidents uh-huh. go. I had a marble notebook on me. He wrote his name and number on it, and, and then when I we went to go talk to somebody else, he ripped it out. And when he drove away, I didn't have his contact information anymore. Damn. Bastard, motherfucker! Right to this day, Smooth if you're listening, move. I just hope you die. <laughs> <laughs> Kippy, let's talk about athletic greens. Athletic greens. You know them. You love them. I use them every single day, and that is not a lie. Absolutely. Absolutely fantastic. Throw it, shake it up in the mixer. Good for the gut health. Yeah. Good for the immunity. Yeah. Keeps you going all day. Feels great. Feels great. Love those athletic greens. Best thing about it, it's lifestyle friendly. Whether you're doing keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free, they got you covered. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, no artificial anything, while still tasting good. Mm -hmm. Take that. Uh, they have over uh, 7,000 five-star reviews recommended by professional athletes, trusted by leading health health experts the whole nine yards. Uh, it was created when the founder experienced a ton of gut health issues and ended up uh, on a complement supplement routine to recover. It cost him $100 a day. That wipes all of this out. Boom. 
Just the AG1 in a water bottle. Shake it up. You're good to go. There you go. Uh, right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into cold and flu season. Just one scoop of uh, one scoop and in water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership over your health today. Kip, let's talk about the good people of Ladder. Love Ladder. Yeah. Listen, folks, in these uncertain times, wonky out there. You want to make sure that your family's taken care of. God forbid anything would happen. Mm -hmm. And Ladder can absolutely help. A lot of people get scared off term life insurance. But Ladder are the guys you got to go to. Yes. Ladder is 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, just a few minutes, a phone, laptop to apply. Ladder smart algorithms work in real time to find out if you're instantly approved. No need to talk to anybody on the phone, but you can if you want. There you go. And the best thing is they don't work on commission, so they're not trying to upsell you. Just trying to figure out what's good for you. No hidden fees. Cancel at any time. Get a re full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. So go to ladderlife.com mm -hmm. slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. The next, the next lady was uh, the next lady. She was at completely at fault, and a guy in a Mazda Miata, real hip cat. <laughs> <laughs> he had what seems to be the problem, kid. <laughs> he had shades on. He pulled over. I mean, the lady were arguing. He pulled over and he goes, "Excuse me, I saw the whole thing." He gets out. He goes, "I'm a lawyer. Here's my card. If you need a witness." What? I was like, "Whoa!" Whoa. And then he just peeled off into the day. <laughs> and then uh, that lady denied it. I went to court with her. The guy showed up. Mazda to be, showed up. He showed up to be my witness, and what? she brought a witness. What? Okay, and then I was like, she. The, they tried to blame me, and I was like, I never saw this woman. <laughs> right? Uh, she wasn't there at all. And 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 then and then she was like, no, she was there. She was my witness. And then my lawyer, uh, uh, whoever was representing me or whatever, went <clears throat> to the witness. What color is his car? And she didn't know. And wow. it was like. Wow. Wow. They should have thrown. I, isn't that like Who's she, Johnny Cochran? Who yeah. the fuck was your lawyer? She should have been like uh, it's like Law and Order. Staten she should, Island. She should have gotten in trouble there, but they just like basically didn't yeah, give her any right. credit. Sure. Yeah, yeah. After that, I got a job at the pizza place, and I didn't have a car, and I needed one. Uh huh. So I found another one for nine hundred dollars. A brown Chevy. Bought the Miata. <laughs> red, red, yeah, I wish <laughs> a brown Chevy celebrity. And I, I got the job, and I told him I had a car already, and I didn't. I've been asking for that job for a, a while because my two friends delivered pizza and made sick money. Yeah. So I was like, let me get. So I got there. I can't went back to my dad. I'm like, I got to get a, a car within the next three days. I start Monday. Whatever. You fucking crashed three of them. What <laughs> yeah, the fuck? Another one? So I get the car to get the temp stuff, whatever whatever it was. I, I think it was even fake, actually, to tell you the truth. So like, I think I went to the. <laughs> Staten Island car. plays by its own rules. <laughs> yeah. That was for you a, folks out there. We just went over for our first time. We went to do Chrissy D's podcast, and they have the sign saying, like, no fake tags for the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You, for, yeah you get oh, a discount, right? Yeah, yeah we get Yeah, we get I was like, I've never seen like a government issued sign saying, please yeah, don't yeah. counterfeit license plates or whatever. I went to the little pizza in that car the first night. It was a monsoon. I went to turn on the wipers. They didn't work. So <laughs> I can't tell them they don't work because it's supposed to be my car. I'm supposed to yeah. know all about it. So I went and got a, a fucking twine and I, t and I, I, <laughs> I tied it to the windshield wipers and no, then, you I, and then I, I wrapped it around my fist and I was driving Pulling the freaking the white a one man band over here. <laughs> Somebody get this guy a bass drum. He's quick. got a harmonica in his mouth. <laughs> and then and then I totaled that car delivering what pizza. What the fuck, dude? I know. Uh, I was delivering pizza, and I remember I was going to Thirty Two Reed Avenue, and I was I was I was driving, and I was smoking, and I reached down to grab my Dr Pepper, and when I looked back up, Classy the car had shifted, and I was I was going about thirty five miles an hour, and I was. Three feet from a parked car. Uh. I slammed into the parked car. It popped over the curb, knocked down a wrought iron fence, went into a front yard of someone, and the, the big ziti. I had long hair like Ed. <laughs> Ziti's all over the place. I had long hair like Ed. <laughs> the Ziti, my God, the Ziti. The medical. <laughs> <good. laughs> oh, the Ziti, guys. The, I, my head went, hit the windshield, shouted. I had long hair in college. Uh. I had shards of glass all on my hair. I swear to God, we were got the sauce. Couple it looks, of yeah, it looks like your head it was, was cracked. everywhere. And I was like stunned. I'll never forget. It was a Friday because it was really busy. I was stunned, and I was sitting. There. I'm in the weeds. <laughs> I was in the weeds. Nobody was around, and I it, like when it happened, and I was like stunned. And then moments later, the other delivery guy drove past me, and he slowed down. He was in a Mustang, and he goes, 
Sal? And I'm like, go get Pat. He was the he was the uh, boss. Hey, Borzidi, the, sat. My trunk popped open. My hockey equipment was all over the street. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll never forget, the guy whose car it was was a commuter from the city. He got off the express bus, walked across the street. I had big ZD and glass in my head. The police were there. And he walked over. He goes, what the fuck? <laughs> and I just went, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I've had That's no not what it looks like, sir. Since then, though, I have not crashed a car. Oh, grab a, grab yeah. a slice out of the back seat <laughs> yeah. and sit down for a minute. <laughs> what was the name of that pizza place? Can I ask you that? Classic Pizza. How was the pizza? It was great. Yeah, it was good neighborhood, right. nice Staten Island. All the good like, neighborhoods. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good food over there. Yeah, it was good food. Yeah. yeah. I know the one, uh, there's that one deli that has the pig in the front. The pig's face. You know Bo- what I'm talking about? Bo- Fury, maybe? Yeah, that's exactly what it's is called. It is? Yeah, 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 this place yeah. is nice. Good, 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 good grub over there, man. We got good Italian delis there, yeah. When it doesn't get crashed by Sal. As long as Sal's not delivering it, (laughs) I'll I'll, I'll order. (laughs) Okay. Let's do some Are You Garbage questions here. That is quite the tale, my friend. I like it. Um, Put gum under the table? No. Okay. So far. That's a new one. So good. Uh, I did it last night. That's why I want to. Really? Did you at your house? No, I did it on Saturday night at a restaurant in uh, Brooklyn. Oh my God! Well, you walk away from that not feeling anything? That's insane. I, had, I, I was drink. I was about to. I Sal, was, shame him. Just ordered a drink. <laughs> I had gum in my mouth. What was I supposed you to do? Swallow it, napkin. Swallow it? Would you swallow it? No, but there are <laughs> there were other ways out. Yes, There's cloth. You. There were yeah. cloth napkins. <laughs> You're painted into a corner here. There's a bathroom. <laughs> Ask the bartender. Gave me the drink. That's crazy. Don't hey, ever do that I, again. I'm, a, I'm, I'm being judged. What's going on here? <laughs> I have a thing with littering of any kind. I really don't do it. When I see someone okay. throw something out of their window in a car, mm-hmm. I'll be the guy that pulls up next to me. Like, I'll what are you it. doing? Well, I'll, t- I'll assess the person first yeah, <laughs> before I decide yes. how I'll Please take that. Yeah. Sometimes I'm just like, can we not? Or you know, And then sometimes, wow. you know. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't litter at all. Yeah. But, I mean, that's not littering. Is it? Yeah, it's a gray area. You're right. <laughs> It's a gray area. It's not not littering, though, at the same time. <laughs> I will tell you, I feel like I see and feel gum on surfaces way less than when I was growing up of in the course, 80s. Yeah, uh, of course, yeah. 80s and 90s. We, yeah. were, we were talking about littering in the 80s and 90s. was like, you'd be driving down the highway and someone would just throw a whole McDonald's. Like, it was, yeah. it just happened all yeah. the time. Yeah, whole I mean, like, McDonald's. it was nothing. Yeah. Telephone poles, I, we had telephone poles covered, covered in, in gum. gum. Yeah, that was like a thing. Yeah. 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 I remember when I realized that those black spots on the sidewalk were, were gum. gum. Yeah. yeah, Like, holy, that's all gum. Yeah, mm-hmm. just all gum. You ever throw your sneakers over the telephone wire? I have. Okay. I that's have. littering. There you go. Well, that's art. <laughs> <laughs> it's quick. So's the gum. What do you mean? I made a little shape out of it. <laughs> Staten Island Banksy over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, growing up, did you drink milk with dinner? Um, not as... Uh, as law, okay, but but I'm, I'm sure it's happened. Like my aunt, my aunt uh, insisted on milk instead of like something else. Yeah, okay. yeah. all right. What was the grocery store your mom went to growing up? A and P. A and P. All right. Nice okay. establishment. Yeah. That was, yeah, I don't know if they exist anymore. You guys know AMP? AMP got bought by <laughs> I think by somebody by like Acme or Associated okay. or somebody like that. Yeah. Yeah. Would you guys also do like uh, like where'd you get your deli meat from? Where are you getting that from? Were you getting that from the AMP? We were getting it from the AMP or the Rose Rosebank Deli, which was the deli the right there, like a nice right. deli. Right. I mean the corner deli, small yeah. corner deli. And what are we talking about? What did you guys do? Would you do like classic turkey and ham, or were we doing like Italian like mortadelle and all that stuff? I I didn't go crazy. We didn't have like, you know I. I it was like ham and cheese. Okay. I was a ham and cheese Simple kid. Man. Bologna. I'm with it. What'd you have for lunch today? I had leftovers. Pasta and meatballs. Leftovers that were made at the house or you took home made from at a the restaurant? Ha- made at the house. Okay. Very right. good. Made at my sister's. Okay. okay. Yeah. How do you And feel- I don't have that that often either. I know that all, that was a very convenient answer. Sure. But actually, I was running late today and the only thing, I, could, I only had time to heat something up. So. How do you feel about if you do go out to dinner Will you take leftovers home with you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. no waste. Good man. No waste. Good man. I don't waste either. I just finish it there. Yeah. I'll just eat everything. I'll finish it there, but I'm bringing it home if it's not. Okay. Now, did you have the, the leftovers you had today? Did you, ha- you had that at dinner at her house last night? Two nights ago. So two nights ago, you went over to your sister's for dinner. Yes. And you're leaving. Sal, take some meatballs. We made too much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You brought it home. Much. And that was partially my fault. I, I always say make more. And have extra never run out. Of sure. I'm like having a Super Bowl gathering right now, too. Uh-huh. And I'm going over this with my girl because she always wants to order less than I think. I'm like, she always is like, don't. It's going to be wasteful. I'm like, we'll send people home with food. Yeah. The yeah. last thing I want is for someone to be hungry and not have any more food. That is anxiety. Been, that's okay. the Foley family's biggest fear and source of arguments, anxiety. Because my parents have people over all the time in the summer to go to the pool. 
And it's just, hey, is there enough? Is there enough? Barbecue is a big uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they freak Overdo the it, out. I say. Mm-hmm. They freak so out. They, were, they, were, they, they thought that meatballs were enough. And I said, get one more package. And then we had like no joke. Wait, yeah. Like 10, 12 extra meatballs. So. You're not making the meatballs? Ain't nothing wrong with it. So I'm not a cook. But that night, because I haven't seen my family since Christmas and I really wanted to engage with them, I we all cooked together. Okay. Love which I, I don't normally do. But I had very me- menial tasks. Mm-hmm. I chopped onions and sliced garlic, and then I made the balls of the meat. The oh, meatballs. okay, yeah, all right. So yeah. you didn't order; they weren't like frozen meatballs or anything. Like no, no, that. we made it from scratch. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Now, I assume that she sent you home with those meatballs in a container. Correct. Will you be returning that container, or will you be keeping that container? Okay, I and understand. Was it plastic or glass? Okay, okay. It was plastic. Okay. It was new. They just got a new set. And this was, I had never seen this. At the top, there's this little thing to open so it lets air out. So that when you're going to put something on that's really full, Mm -hmm. which was the case in that moment because they had one with sauce, my brother-in-law went to put it down and I said, you're not going to make that. And sure sure enough, it all spilled out. And then two seconds later, he's like, what is this? And he noticed, you pop it so that you can push it down. The excess air Air comes out the top. Same thing with putting it out. So it was new. And so like for me, I always return the Tupperware. It hangs over my head. (laughs) And I... I, I, I have, I, I'm very, I have anxiety, I have OCD, ADHD, all that shit, and through and through, and that's diagnosed, not just me saying it. Okay. And I will think about that Tupperware until I get until it back to her. Turn. Okay. But, you know, I get that. We, I do have some Tupperware in there that I don't know where the hell it came from. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I did give out Tupperware that does not get returned. <laughs> and so don't now, think I forgot. And so now I have two sets of Tupperware in the house. I have the one that's like... Not the high-end plastic, but like the plastic, like, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And then I have glass that I, that I don't give out that I keep in the house. Sure. The See. glass with the clasps. That's yeah. Nice. It really keeps stuff fresh. Really you got does. the same but set. You yeah, get a few extra days out of it. It's worth the cost. You make up, you make up the money. <laughs> Why are you preaching in a yeah. choir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you make up for the cost. Yeah. I love you clean it. the Tupperware before you give it back? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't, hey, who am I, Gaddafi? Yeah. This guy's not Gaddafi. putting gum under a table, I don't even right? know what that means, but who am I, some bad fellow? <laughs> Saddam Hussein was notorious for that. Yeah. <laughs> Never sent back a clean piece of Tupperware. He got what was coming, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. It is a form of terrorism. <laughs> Still had the red sauce stained on the inside. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you let it soak. Yeah, that red sauce is tough. You got to oh, get in there right man. away. You soak that. Mm-hmm. Throw a little dawn in there. Man, yeah. dude, I've, I've eaten cereal out of <laughs> Bowls that had stains on it. Oh, oh, it just tastes a little bit of oregano in your fruit loops. Yeah. That's bad. Uh, Yikes. What kind of soap are you working with? You brought that up. Uh, in in which the, way? In the kitchen? In the kitchen? Yeah. Um, and then also hand soap. What are you doing in the bathroom? Give me, sure. every, give me a rundown. Sal. I got you. So uh, in the kitchen, I've got, we've tried to go green. Mm-hmm. So I used to have like, I, I get that, used to get like the Myers or whatever. Myers, yeah. And I would Myers pour it into the, gl- like the glass one. That's a classy oh, move. Exactly. This guy cares about details and I like that about So him. you're a meticulous guy. <laughs> We're talking he here. he right. knows what he's doing. But I since changed and now I order this powder. I hear good things about this. And, and you actually, so there's no plastic. It just comes in the powder and you put the powder in it and it like, and you just, so the refills are not, you're not buying plastic over mm-hmm. and over and over. Okay. And for uh, the bathroom, for, for like, sh- like face and stuff. Gem- Anything. I do all sorts of. So I, I'm, I'm into skincare. I've recently gotten into skincare, mm-hmm. so I'm I'm doing all sorts of stuff. I'm I'm using toner. I'm exfoliating. I'm I'm using. Uh, I'm I'm I'm. Uh, you doing a mask? Hydrating. I got masks. Mm-hmm. I got. Them. Uh, Long way from Staten Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't take much, you know. It does. You know, you you could you uh, every, the every man can can be uh can can do skin. Oh yeah, I got the eye I'm, stuff on right yeah, now. You gotta, uh, yeah, Rexanol <laughs> yeah, you got Rex and all or whatever patches. it's called. Well, since yeah. we changed the four cab and getting demolished in the comments, <laughs> 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 like I thought he was seventy two. What the hell? <laughs> I assume no, I, you didn't have that when you were a kid. You weren't no, that no, no, no. We what had, was the soap uh, in the house? Bar ivory. soap. Ivory or Irish Spring. At my grandparents where I used to live downstairs from there at a pr- certain mm-hmm. point. And I still love, I still keep Irish Spring in the closet because I, I still use it. I think it's the best smelling soap I've ever it smelled. It smells great. But I do buy like more like organic, like I, I'm a soap guy. Like if I'm on the road, I'll pick up a soap and a soy candle like nobody's business. Really? And I bring them home and I, and I have a stash of soaps and candles. Okay. I burn candles all around the house. It, it really creates a nice ambiance, even when I'm home alone. It's I like them. Yeah, I, I like them. Like, it settles me. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to throw one out. I don't know if you know this one. They're not a sponsor, but we, I love the product. Beekman's 1802. Have you heard of this? I feel like I do know Goat that. Goat milk soap. The Arcadia smell yeah, I think I is see it. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beekman's 1802. Beekman's 1802. Do yourself a favor. It's fucking, they're absolutely I, fantastic. The, the Arcadia one, the reason I love it, it has a reminder of Coast Soap. 
Remember Coast? Coast, sure, sure. Un- it literally take your fucking skin off, but it's, you smelled great. Okay, yeah. Mm. Is it is it a big block or no? Is that what the, the Beekmans? Beekmans? Yeah, they sell monsters. Yeah, it's like a brick. Yeah, it's a huge yeah, brick yeah, wrapped yeah, in I paper. Remember, I know it. Yeah. Real classy, real nice hotel. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'll I'll pay for I, I now pay for shampoo and stuff like that. Well, I use Head and Shoulders. Really? Yeah, I use it at least once or twice a week. Okay. Just you know, for the dandruff I don't have. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Preventative maintenance. Yeah. Okay. And then in the in betweens, I I'll, I'll like pay a little extra money for the soap because it, 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 it goes a long way. It does. You know, I I say spend spend money on bedding, footwear, and experiences. That's what I say. That's, That's where I good. spend my money. What is the bedding situation at the house? The bedding is nice. It's nice. The bedding is nice. Mm-hmm. I did. I'll tell you for the first. Man, let me think about this. Okay, you're gonna. This is crazy. So for the, for the I moved out of the house in nineteen in two thousand nineteen ninety no two thousand one. You moved so, out of your your parents', parents house. house. Yeah. So twenty. So I was I was twenty four. Okay. From that from I had the same mattress for twenty four years. Uh, yeah. I just got well a from ch- my first mattress. Maybe not from from newborn, but my first mattress as a, like a four year old or a five year old. Yeah. It was a twin mattress. Twin. And I slept in that until I was twenty four. We moved, but. Then I had this really small room, but it had a high ceiling. So my dad built like this, like little loft just for the mattress, and it fit up there. So I would just, I would literally take a a frame wooden ladder out of my closet, open it, and go up the ladder to go to bed every night. Holy he didn't build you the yeah. ladder to go up? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's but a it, union job. What do you want? From, what do you want from a guy? And then, time and a half. And then I moved from there. And the first time I ever moved out of my house, I moved into like a basement studio apartment. And uh, I didn't know how long I was going to stay there. I left in a rush, actually. And uh, <laughs> I left in a huff. And uh, my dad, as a gesture, goes and buys me a, ca- a leather couch. Yet. He buys the three-seater, the love seat, and the single. Whoa. Meanwhile, it took up the whole the apartment. Whole, yeah, it's a whole so studio So I was like, apartment. all right, I can't fit Cooking a mattress. on the love seat. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I couldn't fit a mattress. So I was like, all right, the three-seater is comfortable and it fits me. I don't know how long I'll be here. Nine years I slept on that couch. You slept Holy on the couch for nine God. years. From 2001 to 2010, I slept on the couch. Holy Did not have a bed. Shit. That was, was my bed. What was the reason that you left in a huff? Can I ask? Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a friction. Okay. Friction at home. Been there. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you get to keep the couch after that, or was it gone? I, I, well, when I moved to my next apartment, I gave those couches away to, to my cousins, and I bought new stuff. Very nice. A hand me down couch that oh, you slept man. on for nine years. That's yeah, awesome. that's a tough hand me yeah, yeah. down. That yeah. one, I think I. Tossed. Okay. But the single and the love, the single was like brand new. Yeah. You know, the, the love seat I gave away, yeah. Kippy. Mm-hmm. Babel. Babel. Le Babel. Le Babel. Los Babel. El Babel. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but you got to get on Babel if you want to learn a new language. Yes. Absolutely fantastic. The easiest way to learn a new language is with Babel. Now that you're an international man traveling, of I'm an course. international businessman. Now you're international. Of course. You're like my protege. That's right. You got to learn a new language. Listen, you can't go over there and start acting like a bozo. Like, hey, where's the Burger King? Can't be doing that. You got to speak the language. Yes, it's the best learning app. And they, they you know why? Because they sold over 10 million subscriptions. Look at that. 15-minute lessons to make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Uh, other learning apps... Use AI for their lessons plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Look at that. Not some computer or robot doing it for you. Not some bozo Good old off the strip. Red blooded people doing it for you. Uh, Babbel speech recognition therapy helps you, or technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. So you sound like a native. There you go. You know, I sound like a real French guy. Right now, when you purchase a three month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel. Dot com. Use promo code garbage. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Code garbage. Babbel. Language for life. Kippy. Yes. You like Helix mattresses? Like them. Love them. Sleep on them. Right. Well, I got a little something for you. What's that? Helix is uh, also stepping out of the realm of mattresses, getting into the furniture game with a little company called All Form. All Form. Absolutely fantastic. We got a couch sitting right here. Comfortable. Affordable. Easy to put up, easy to set up, get it together. T-Bone, get your feet off my couch. Yeah. Uh, it's the easiest way you can customize a sofa using premium materials at a fraction of the cost of traditional stores. You pick your fabric, you pick the color, you pick what kind of legs, what color, sofa size, the shape, whole nine yards. Uh, they got armchairs all the way to eight-seat sectionals. Whether you're a one-person par- one person party or you're hanging out with a crew, mm-hmm. they got you covered. All forms all form sofas are delivered directly to your home with fast, free shipping. Right now, if you buy a sofa from a traditional retailer, it take months to arrive. Hmm. They jam you up. Yep. Supply chain. Yep. Not with all form. Nope. Uh, they were Like we said, we got one over there. T-Bone's lounging on it right now with his dirty, muddy skateboarder shoes all over it. You're grounded. 
Uh, <laughs> Get up there and clean your room. <laughs> they offer financing and flexible payment plans, so an amazing sofa is never far away. They even offer forever warranty, literally forever. To find your perfect sofa, go to allform.com slash garbage, and Allform is offering 20% off, or off of all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash garbage. One more time, allform.com slash garbage. Now back to the show. Yeah. Uh, you okay. were talking about experiences on the road. If you have to choose one major chain food place, like a Red Lobster or TGI Fridays, what Applebee's brains? Applebee's Outback. If the club's closed, it's late. You're not in a city where you can go get a steakhouse or whatever. Chain. Chain. What are you doing? Or what do you like to see? A wa- Buffalo Wild Wings? Eh, I, 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 if I have my choice, I'm going to Red Lobster. Whoa. Really? Okay. Yeah. Red Lobster. So Red Lobster, the guys and I this guy's from Broncos. the show. Uh-huh. If for some reason, when we would celebrate from a young age, we'd go to Red Lobster. Okay. We continued that through Love our adulthood. That. So when we got the show, we went to celebrate at Red Lobster. Yes! So the four of you... Fucking pure <laughs> trash. I love Rolling it. into a Red Lobster. How about this? When we got picked up for a second season, the president of True TV at the time and his second in command, uh, who since were fired... I'll send you anywhere. Where do you want to go? <laughs> we, they <were laughs> Private since, jet. They were, they were since fired, but like... And, and they... and they, they uh, The cat's out of the bag. They were not good. But... um. They were like, let's go to dinner. I'm going to go. Where do you want to go? And we were like, we'll go to Red Lobster with you. And he's like, Red Lobster? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, and, he's, and they're like, we're like, that's where we go. Yeah. So that's, what we that's, do. that's how we do it. Like, we're granted, we know what it's about, but we keep the tradition. We go to Red Lobster. He's like, you don't want to go to, he goes, per se, which is like one of the <laughs> sure. most high end. And we're like, no, we'll go to Red Lobster. Do so. they have cheesy biscuits there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then shut up. Biscuits let's from go. the sea. So we went to the Times Square Red Lobster, and you know when you wait for a table, what? they give you the they give you the, the beeper. The beeper. Pre- ahead of going with him, we went there. The beeper there is a lobster claw that lights up red. Whoa! We we went, asked for a table, walked out, stole it, put it in a velvet box, a very fancy velvet box with like a satin bow, shipped it to his office, and he opened it, and it was the buzzer waiting to go to Red Lobster. <laughs> He These made- guys are fun. <laughs> they're, they're a good time. I got a story here. They're a joke. I got a, I got a story. So, so he's like, all right, we'll go. He ends up reserving a private room for us. So it's the four of us and the two of them, right? I can't believe they have that at that red last <laughs> I know. It's just the basement, but I still. <laughs> <laughs> You're next to the boxes of soda syrup, but it's all right. <laughs> You're eating seafood gumbo and Madame Tussauds? <laughs> It was the loading dock. But. <laughs> so we get there. He, he's not there. He, he gets there, ends up getting there like 20, 30 minutes late. So we're like, all right. So we didn't like the guy, right? So we get the waiter ahead of time. We go, listen, we don't like this guy. He's paying. Do me a favor. We want to order everything. Even if we don't say it to you, order this, 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 this. It's just bring it out. When I tell you I want a lobster, I'm going to say, I want a, I want a lobster. Bring me the heaviest lobster you have mm-hmm. for all of us. So he's like, I got it. I got it. So we eat the whole friggin' meal, and at the end of the meal, the bill came. It was like a CVS receipt. <laughs> <laughs> he opened it. Have your phone he, number, we, please. We saw his face. He went, it, it was trifolded. <laughs> and, he, and he went like this. And he looked. It was $700. <laughs> Red Lobster. $700. And then my buddy. Take that suit. <laughs> huh? Where are you going to get 700 bucks from, buddy? <laughs> Jokes on you. <laughs> and then he was like, I mean, he was gonna put the card down, and like you know, but he he couldn't be like, how is this possible? Sure. So he just like we saw him like, what the fuck? And then my buddy Murray, he 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 took out of it. He goes, I have this if you need it. He had printed a five dollar coupon from this, and he cut it and he just slid it over. And the guy goes, oh fuck your coupon. <laughs> Well, if we spend another 50, I get 10 off. <laughs> Someone, have you got room for dessert? <laughs> Red Lobster. Yeah. I okay. love that. Okay. I love it. Where would, where would be a nice... I'm not adverse to other places. Of course. I'm just saying if I have the... Of course. Choice. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. What would be like a nice dinner out for the family when you were a kid? Where would you go? Oh, uh, no place, really. No place big. We didn't go out to dinner a lot at all, actually. Really? Yeah. Someplace incidental, like the mall, like Ground Round. Okay. Or if, if you know what that is. Do I know so what that, know that is? is. Yeah. Something like that. You put him out of business. Love <laughs> <laughs> that burger smell, that like, yeah. that like almost A1 burger smell that hits you when you get out of the car in the parking lot. Yeah. I would yeah. float into that place as a little kid. Free popcorn. They played oh. the movies on the wall. We also, there's a place called Farrell's. 
which if you looked that up, it was like for a kid, it was awesome because it was like an old timey. It was a, it was like a burger joint. Uh -huh. but it was like old timey. It had like a whole concession stand candy. It looked like it was from the fifties. Mm -hmm. oh, the guys wore nice. those like the um, hats and the yeah the what do you call it like the acapella they wore, oh, like the, the court the, yeah the, the oh, vest okay. and the striped yeah. shirt with like that like that foam top hat or whatever. The hell yeah, I know exactly that. what you're talking yeah. about. That's yeah, a good yeah. Time. Like um, barbershop quartet. Yep, exactly right. Yeah. yeah. What about the vacations when you were a kid? Would you do any of them? I I never was on a plane until I was eighteen on my own. Wow. Never went on that. We were supposed to go to Disney World when I was little, and I got the flu, so I was told. <laughs> so I was told. But we we did drives. We would Sally, drive you're sick to... as a dog. Get up and... <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I feel great. You got Mickey ears on, <laughs> suntan lotion yeah. on. It was like Eminem's mom. Yeah. She was like, just made me believe I was sick. Okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we we, uh, we would go to uh, like. Great Gorge in Vernon Valley, New Jersey. Like that was like a resort up there. It was like okay, a, a ski resort and a summer resort type of thing. That's so we right. would drive and do that. That's okay, good. like that I was, was like that was our, the Poconos. our big we would, thing. Yeah, Poconos. We would go to like, the Poconos. That we would do drives. Yeah, yeah, yeah drives. of course. Of course. But I, I, yeah, I never flew anywhere. I never was. Yeah. When was the first time you went out of the country? First time I went out of the country, I was, I think, probably. Uh, oh, it was it, if this counts, it was Mexico, ninety-five. Okay, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, the Mexico was like you know college, like friends, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 but like proper, proper, probably London at twenty-one. All right. Yeah. There you go. Not Pretty too good. shabby. Do you have a Dave and Buster's card in your wallet right now by any chance? <laughs> I don't, but I do have two cards that. I don't know if they're still active, but they had a balance <laughs> uh, in my in, in my case. drawer in my closet at home because they have a balance. Yeah, what am I going to do? Out, yeah. I, I even took to pictures of them so that if I, I, I you can. I don't go to Dave and Buster's. I should say that I, I've only gone a couple times in my life, but one time we went out to filming. We took the whole crew. And we got shit faced and we bought cards for everyone. We so just did that. Yeah, yeah, we just, yeah, did, it. We yeah. just did it in Syracuse. And it was fun as shit. Oh, did you go? This one has the the Pac Man that's like it's four players at the same time. It's the screen is like the size of that wall. Oh no, I didn't and see that. And you play against each other. So there's four Pac Man. If you bump into someone, you bump them out of the way. It's like competitive Pac Man. Ooh, I forget what it's fun. called. Oh my god, we didn't leave the machine. <laughs> didn't leave the machine. I even looked it up to get it like for my home, yeah. but it's it's unreasonably priced. Oh, I think yeah. I could imagine. Hmm. What was the biggest purchase you made when when you when when like say that second season you guys get that check was there an irresponsible purchase that you made or is that not there really was no your check style? in that second season it took a, <laughs> it took a while season seven I could I ser seriously could have worked at Target and made the same money <laughs> yeah. the first they season started delivering pizzas <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> go tell Patsy bumper, I'm yeah. back in playing bumper cars and stuff but when you when when you first hit it. What I what I get um like was a Hummer like a, or anything a like that I, I bought a, a used BMW. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. It was twenty nine thousand dollars. All right, take cash or did I, you finance that? Um, no, I financed. It. Okay, yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, that, reasonable was, that was a big. That yeah, was a big yeah. thing. Um, I'm trying to think if I. I mean, really, if I bought anything really, really big, I. I, I don't really, I don't really splurge on yeah. on big things. Again, I do on. You're betting, a big shoe guy too. Betting shoe yeah. and and experience. Him and Verzi always talking about how shoes. many pairs of sneakers would you say you have? Uh, yeah, three hundred maybe. Three hundred. Yeah, two fifty. All in the setup, but like what I'm imagining, like in the in the closet, and because I don't have a big enough place, so I have like about seventy seventy five pairs in my closet. I have about another like maybe thirty upstairs, and then like another like hundred and fifty in storage or something like that. Holy shit! Damn. So you have a storage unit. Yeah, not because not for the sneakers. It's because uh, I just have too much shit. Yeah, and I'm move. I'm gonna move eventually, and I needed like an interim space. So I okay, like, I just I've okay. only had it for the past year. Do, All right. Do you have any like super rare ones, like some Jordan One crazy shit? Yeah, I got some rare ones. I got uh, I got those Back to the Future mags. I have uh, those things are nuts. Yeah, the Tom Sachs Mars Yard, a uh, Mars 2.0. I don't know if you know those or. I have uh, the, dude. I don't know shit about sneakers. Those are the only two I know. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Chicago off whites. I have some. I have some big pairs. What's the most you've ever spent on a pair of sneakers? On a single pair? Oh, I don't know. Um, a man. grand, two grand, three grand? Maybe around three. But the ones I bought at three are about six now. Yeah, right? gotcha. And I haven't it's won. Like them. Bitcoin. Yeah, it's like. Bitcoin. And I've I've traded and I've sold sneakers and yeah. I've made money. That's all. Yeah. So like, if economy, I make money yeah. on a trade or a sale, I'll buy another pair with that money. It's gotcha. not like I'm not I'm not just spending. No, I, I got you. Yeah, I don't just spend three thousand on sneakers. Sure. Like, yeah, yeah. Do you go? So you most go, of my sneakers are regular. You know. Do or you I try go to, to those? Early. Do you go to those like sneaker things? I don't go to the showrooms? cons, but I do go like to. You know what happened? Like it used to be a di it used to be different. The whole landscape of sneaker like uh, sneakers has changed, and now it's all online and it's automated yeah. and there's bots and there's all this shit. You used to have to know someone or wait yeah, online yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you could get that pair like a hype pair for retail, and then you made it was a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Now I, like I have a guy and I work with him. Yeah, you have a shoe guy. That's I got him from cool. Bert Kreischer. 
Ah, it's Bert. everybody's shoe guy. My, yeah. I give him a shout out all the time. Angelo Blando. God bless the kid. That's awesome. Love him. Hmm. Okay. Have you ever owned a switchblade comb? I have one right now. Really? I swear to God. On you? No. Oh. That, <laughs> dude, do you think if I would have said I have, I would have just took it out and been like, fuck <laughs> Just fucking <laughs> zip it real quick? I, I, I swear yeah, to yeah, God. Yeah, let me tell you the story, see? <laughs> Could you imagine I pulled it out and combed my hair right now? You would have to shut this whole place down. That's insane. I wrote that question two years ago when we started, and I've never used it on anybody. And I, I know think. I do because I have this junk box in my be- in my spare bedroom, and I and I it's it's in there in the yellow box mm-hmm. still. Like yeah, I, the yellow box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And I recently went through there and I saw it and I was like, you don't, you don't throw that out. Yeah, you I don't knew. throw that out. You don't know when one day, I knew one day it will one. fulfill its role. Good head of hair, fun guy. He's got that. Coat. Today was the day. I had that shit for twenty years. Today was the day, and I blew it. Come on. Uh, any Chinese stars, nunchucks, anything like that? Hundred percent. Yeah, I had them all. Fireworks. Fireworks, I had. Yeah, I didn't. St- Hoard them, mm-hmm. but we did ride our bikes down to St. John's Avenue, and there was a guy that sold them out of his garage. Of course. Nice. Yeah. And uh, legally, he was the neighborhood guy. Chinese stars. I used to go to the. Um, we had this thing called the Big Apple Bazaar. It was like one of those uh, flea market. Flea market. Yeah. yeah. Flea That's markets. where every kid got them. Yeah. Yeah. Flea markets. Yeah. The flea market. Saturday mornings or whatever. Hundred percent. They got them there, and they. Ha- I had nunchucks, but they were like. Um, Foam. The padded ones. Yeah, 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 every, yeah, yeah. yeah they were good. Yeah. They were a good time. But I went out with those. I loaded up. I went out, and we, we walked around and made sure everything was cool. <laughs> <laughs> we patrolled. Yeah. Catching some litter bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had you like a slight bruise on your forearm. <laughs> huh, tough guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did not. Dare, oh, we didn't dare throw the stars, but I did have. No, you didn't dare I did have a foam Dude, star too, though. Those I would throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. I would throw. It's just they wouldn't do anything. Yeah. BB gun. I didn't have one. My Pro- dad had one. Shot a kid one time. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's pause here. <laughs> <laughs> one let's pause let's, let's get that lawyer like, in the Let's Miata pause for station identification. <laughs> For weather on the twos with Toby. <laughs> <laughs> what was that situation? Why would your dad pull the BB gun? Um, Eric, so he was the superintendent of the apartments that we lived in at the time. He okay. had multiple jobs. Okay. I was getting into that growing up. He was, yeah. So he had two full-time jobs. City job and superintendent? Full-time, yeah. So you guys lived there for free. Yeah. Well, nice. yeah, yeah, he did. But then when we got divorced, we did my mom and he moved in, paid, he moved in the other building and paid, paid to live and we lived for free. Holy shit. Yeah. Your parents got divorced and they lived in the building next to each other? Yeah, yeah. That's Staten Island, right? Yeah. That's about as Staten Island as it gets. Yeah. That's like also the dad's the super and a fucking sanitation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had, so the kid. He Man, was, he had your mom by the balls, I think. <laughs> you like this free apartment? <laughs> Holy so shit. Shot, yeah, I just know that he told me, he told me the story one time. So he had an office. And there was one kid, and he was walking his dog, and this kid, everybody hated this kid. He was like a, like a teen, and uh, he was like, people just, he was a piece of shit. The bad kid. Like that. Yeah. So my dad, every, every time so my dad was just going to like, you know, I don't think he thought it was going to hurt him at all. And I, and I think he was not going to aim for his like, like I don't think, he, he wasn't going to pierce skin. It was like a BB gun. Sure. But he, I know he told me he cracked the door open. He, it was like a, one of those pump ones. Mm-hmm. And he put, the, he put stuck the nozzle out so the door was cracked. It's like a and, Brinks truck. <laughs> and my cousin who was, uh, my whole family, and fr- everybody was like on the, on the staff mm-hmm. of the building, like maintenance. Nice. One was my cousin, one That's was my awesome. grandpa, you know, like all that stuff. So my, awesome. my cousin was in there, <laughs> and my dad stuck it, and he, and he just pulled it, and the kid was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and he just screamed. It hit him, like, in the face or whatever. Damn. And then he, he he ran and got his mother, and the mother came back, and she went straight to the office. Like, boom, boom, boom. She's like, somebody shot my son with this BB gun. Blah, blah. My dad was like, let's go. We'll find and they, him. They, like, and they went walking <laughs> with her to look for the guy. <laughs> Gonna have a hard time finding myself. <laughs> the case was never solved. The witnesses all disappeared. <laughs> I hope there's a statute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what if there wasn't? What if there's no statue on BB. My dad gets hold off at 76 years old. <laughs> Where were you, June 4th, 1991? Now, do you guys, after he does that, does he take the BB gun to the Verrazano and throw it over? <laughs> <laughs> the, what's, what's Wrap it in a blanket. <laughs> file the serial number off real quick. <laughs> They'll find the prince of a dead man on there. (laughs) (laughs) What about you? Any injuries as a kid? You break anything? Um, I didn't break anything. 
That was my claim to fame for a very long time. No broken bones. I've no never ca- broken no a stitches, bone. Either. No cavities. Wow. No cavities. Yeah. Yeah. Even but now? Now I, oh, man. He's got a nice set of white chompers on him. It's He's got sh- good it's teeth. It's a shame to say this, but no. a couple of years ago, I ended up getting about three or four cavities. First time in my life. But uh, there's this new thing now where you can't even. You, you wouldn't even know. Oh yeah. The they, new way they, doesn't they, put they all that silver. Yeah. Sure, they don't metal. shoot the silver into. Yeah. 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 yeah they're not melt. They're not fucking. Yeah. So I lead. do have a few now, but you don't understand what a fall from grace that was for me. I I would lead with it. <laughs> Sal Volcano, no cavities. <laughs> Sal Volcano, no broken bones. Sol Volcano, mobster, no cavities. Um, <laughs> you might know me as Soul. <laughs> but um, I I did get hit by a car when I was four. Yeah, I was right. We've talked about it. We've been on record. Getting hit by a car is never a trash. You're doing something you shouldn't have been doing. So probably. I was, so, so I was with my dad. We were playing frisbee. And it was right. It was like a down the block from his office from the apartments we, 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 uh, we lived at. And it was, a, it was a, what do you call those? Those posts? VW posts? VW yeah, like a like a like a uh, post. like yeah, like, like a, a bug. Like no, 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 no. like a, like um, oh, like, like a catering hall. A VFW. Oh, VFW. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. yeah. What, what did I say? VW. VW, VW post. post. I'm like it was like a v, like a Toreg. It's like um, an old cereal company. <laughs> 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 we gotta beat those Nazis. Eat VW post cereal. Twice the brand. <laughs> Show Hitler. We mean business with VW post. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm sweating. <laughs> getting in the heat. We got you in the hot seat. Yeah, yeah. Tony, Tony Start talking about though. guns and statues. Yeah. Sal oh starts getting God. sweaty. <laughs> Jesus Christ, let me take this off. Um, so yeah, so so we were playing frisbee. So there was that was down the block. So the, it was closed. So the parking lot was 100 percent empty, mm-hmm. and it was all one way in for cars. Otherwise, it was gated. Later on, for many years, that's where we played roller hockey. Okay, so like a big parking lot. Sure. So I go in there with my dad and. Uh, the front gate is closed. There's only one back gate open behind the thing, a small gate. And I'm talking, this thing is huge. Like, you could play, like, Roll nets on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That gotcha. kind of thing. Not like a, not like in the suburbs, like what would be the parking lot of a supermarket. Sure. But, but uh, like, like a uh, church parking lot. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Something, something like that. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. And my dad, it is only us in there. And we're throwing this, it was a Coca Cola for his I'll never forget it. We're throwing it back and forth. And then somebody's walking down the street, my dad knew, so he went to the chain link, the gate, it was high, and it had like... Um, Barbed wire. Yes, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Follow I me around, you. please. Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> sent you out for a long one so he could talk to his friend. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Sally. <laughs> so, so he went to the and he threw it, and it did that thing. The bend. Yeah, and I went over there, and I went to go walk to get it, and I saw a station wagon had entered from the other side. Now, I'm the only object Big in, in the, the lot. Yeah. So in my head, even at four or five, I was like, I'm good. He sees me. This guy's got a stink to so hit I'm me. I'm walking to it. He's driving to it. I get to the Frisbee. He's still driving at me. I look down and I go to pick it up. I, I will never forget this. I go to pick it up. I see him coming. I pick it up. I drop it. And I'm like, should I get, should I, and I went to pick it up again. Woke up. I just woke up what? in my dad's arms. He was running to the car. Oh, so it was like a, probably, a, probably like four or five minutes later. Jesus. Yeah. And my, my dad actually recently, I didn't know this. He recently told me that. He freaked out and he started like he wanted to get the guy out of the car and he was like punching the car and everything and the guy would like wouldn't get out of the Sal, car. Sal, get my BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> and then my dad's friend was like, Sal, Sal, stop punching the car, pick your son up. <laughs> stop so, punching the car. So my dad grabbed me and then he was running. I woke up like when he was running and then we went to the hospital. And I had, you know, bumps and bruises. It was like I got battered with some soft nunchucks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but somebody who knows how to use them. Yeah. And what happened to the guy in the, in the station wagon? Um, we sued him, but it wasn't a lot of money. I got $5,000. I couldn't touch it till I was 18. That's Your dad gave it to you? Yeah. Oh, what a fucking great guy. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean that's to. awesome. What yeah. do you mean? It doesn't have to. It's family money. No. no My no. mom would have fucking. No. She, <laughs> she, she would have tr- funneled that money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I had a buddy that's got two hundred. He got ran over when we were skateboarding. He got two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's real money. When we were like twelve. That's insane. And he's like, I can't touch it till I was eighteen. We were like keeping him in a bubble till he turned eighteen. That's man, but you like, knew keep that. this kid alive, and we're all on easy street. Mine was twelve, about twelve when I got yeah. it. Yeah, twelve thousand. Really? So yeah. you knew the whole time growing up that you had that waiting. For I had to wait. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I would have been, been running my mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait till I get, yeah. wait till I get my station wagon money. <laughs> you bozos won't know it. I told my first girlfriend I was going to use it for ring money. 
<laughs> Babe, just wait. I got the station wagon money from the Frisbee accident. That's like a money. shitty version of West Side Story. Just wait till my wait till my wait till my station wagon money comes. In, baby. I'll get you out of this uh, this bulldog town. <laughs> I baby, told I'm you I got Manhattan. station. <laughs> we'll get off this goddamn island. I'll tell you. It's like uh, what's his name from uh, from Goodfellas, the Pittsburgh piece. Like I got my station oh, wagon yeah. money coming. <laughs> Sally, that's all we have. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Um, okay. Would you consider yourself a fan of the TV show Deadliest Catch? No. Really? Never okay. seen it. How many times? Maybe you incidentally, see? like, yeah. but okay. not, I don't, couldn't. I know it's about the fishing boats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not appointment viewing in the volcano. No, no, I never. I've, okay. I've maybe seen peripherally an episode, but I okay. Don't. How many Rats? times have you seen the town? Once. Okay. Uh, uh, ben Affleck? Yep. Yeah. Once. Boston. Bank robbing, something like that. Offending me that you don't know the plot of this movie. Yeah. I saw it in the theater. <laughs> Toby, get this guy out of here. I saw. I saw. Toby, it in get the my theater. BB gun. <laughs> I saw it in the theater. I saw it in the theater. All right, theater. All right, I'll, All give, right, you I'll give you that. That makes up. You have, a, um, you have a pool now. You have a pool now. No, I never had a pool my whole life. Never had a pool. Uh, there was one for the apartment buildings. Oh really? In. Yeah. So I had I had the pool when we lived there, but uh, personally, I've never had a pool. Oh, that's pretty uh, nice. Well, actually, right now, right now, as of. Two years ago, my dad has a pool. He moved to Jersey. Okay, and uh, and he has. A that's pool. the progression, right? It's like yeah. Brooklyn to Staten Island, Staten to Island Jer to Jersey. Yeah, that's what a lot of yeah. people it's do. It's like yeah. generational. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You own a pair of Crocs. I did. I don't right now. You own a pair of Uggs. I do. Not what you're thinking. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they're for the hands. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like uh, they're like proper snow boots, not like Lindsay Lowen's or yeah. something. Gotcha. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Not mm. fur and stuff. Uh, do you know karate? Um, I don't, but I took karate in eighth grade for about six months. Yes. I was a white belt, uh, double black tip iron fist. Okay. That's when I checked out. It was about, <laughs> about six months, and my mom was like, I'm not going to pay for this if you're not going to take it serious. What's that, was it like a proper... Sensei Glenn. He's dead now. Sensei Glenn. No way <laughs> Glenn was a good soul. sensei. Who saw? Uh, uh, <laughs> was it like a proper dojo, or was it like a strip mall? It was at the CEO that we played basketball in. Uh, Catholic Youth Center. Yeah. 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 I went oh, to one of them as well. Man, I'm messing up all my yeah. acronyms today. <laughs> uh, have you ever cut the sleeves off a hoodie? No. Okay. Do you have magnets on your refrigerator right now? Not on this one. I have one magnet on my, my on my um, uh, dishwasher. Okay. That I just got. I like he looked at me to be like, where are you at <laughs> on Come this on, one? You know this one. Uh, not Don't right, leave me hanging not here. Not right, right now, but from the place I just moved from, it was covered head to toe. Jeez. But I, I upgraded my fridge, and I have like an adult fridge, like now a little bit, yeah. like so stainless I, steel. We talking stainless steel sub Z? Yeah. What? So I just feel bad to put the magnets on it. Okay. But what? my other one was a Frigidaire yeah. white. Yeah, you covered had, that thing. It had it was covered with every school photo of my knee, everything. All yeah. that. I even bought those stupid poetry things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like you, the, the letters, word, the yeah. word oh, thing. God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that I mean, I had it in college. So I threw it on the fridge, and that was on that fridge for that many years. I mean, yeah. it's like, what's okay. the what's the oven? Is it a Viking? Uh, it's a wolf. Is that good? Yeah, it's. It, I it, think so. It, it's, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I never heard of it. I, I upgraded, you know, yeah. like just recently. I like I bought a place, my first place I ever bought, about five years ago. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, you have name brand luggage. Now I get my luggage just, at like Marshalls. Yes, whatever. I have it. It's, it might be Samsonite, but it was like compare at seventy nine ninety nine. Short. Sure, no. It was like it wasn't anything special. Do, Do you? So, you oh, I'm sorry. I did get luggage as a gift. That's like a fly away, some, some nice luggage from my agent one away, time. Away, probably. Yeah, yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm looking at Wolf oven ranges right now. Does does yours have the flat top on it? The griddle? Uh, no, it's six six range. Six, six. burners. Yeah. Hey, cooking over there. It's huh? doing all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's he's a lot got, of meatballs. He's got two extra burner money. I like <laughs> shit. <laughs> It doesn't. Right. I think the grill. You put it in like in the it's middle. Like maybe you could, you could buy it and put it on or something like okay. that. You know. gotta get that. That shit's so good. Dude. I know. I know. But I don't. I don't cook like that. So, what's the number it? on the wolf? It's up there. Really? <laughs> Go for is you. It, what is it? I don't Go know. for you. The one I'm looking at is thirteen and a half thousand. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, mine was not. That's that more than my car. <laughs> mine was not that expensive. <laughs> mine was twelve five. That's <laughs> <all>. <laughs> Plus tax. <laughs> No, that's surprising. That the, the fridge was like also, eleven, but yeah. But the wolf was like I think five or six. Stoves are expensive. And, and I went in hard on the. Uh, I built. I built it out. So yeah. I went in hard because when you resell, I'm told that's a bi the bathrooms and kitchens are a big, big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people look for those buzzwords. So I just wanted something that would last me a it's long an time, and then have hold 
uh, value when I'm going to sell again. Very sensible. Yeah. Smart Very guy. sensible guy. Yeah. Smart guy. Um, do you hang your T-shirts or do you fold them? Fold. Like that? I can't hang it. It'll ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. Boxers, briefs? Uh, it's the boxer briefs. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Socks, ankle socks, high socks? Uh, summer, ankle and no-show. Uh, rest of the year, mid-ankle. Nice. So you're on top of all that stuff. I'm on top. I have two sock drawers. How many I have suits? too many socks. I got to get rid of socks. How many suits do you own? Uh, not a lot. Two and two sport coats, maybe. Two, two yeah, sport coats. Yeah. Name brand on the suits? Um, one is J. Crew, and one is uh, uh who's that guy? Versace. <laughs> no, no, who's that guy? <laughs> who's that, that guy? No, it's like it's like um, I, 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 Kenneth Cole. No, but it's it's kind of like uh, that. Okay, it's maybe from he's maybe from London. Yeah, Tony Baker. A little flash. Baker, Baker, Baker. Troy Ted Baker. Baker. Ted, Ted, Ted Baker. Baker? Yeah. All right, that's, that's respectable. That's I got it at. Uh, Sacks off, off, off sacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big, all, I'm a big Nordstrom rack. I bought that suit a decade, more than a decade ago. It's still the one I use. Off sack, down the street from sacks. I've been there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. Did you ever wear your high school class ring? Nah. Okay. Uh, when I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Flash it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Like at school. Mm -hmm. when if, if you get takeout or something delivered to the house, do you open the bag or do you just rip the bag? What do you do? Do you just rip the bag open? If they staple it, I'm uh, ripping it open. Okay. If it's folded nicely, I'll keep it as is. Now, will you plate that food, or will you just eat it out of the containers? It's it's anybody's guess. It depends on my mood. I've yeah. plated and I and I've eaten out of the container more so than not. If it's manageable out of the container, I'll keep it in the container. Okay. Uh, but if it's like if it's if it's gonna be awkward or it's gonna cut, I might Can't cut get a knife it and or, fork in there. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna take it off and put it on the plate. You do a real Christmas tree at the house, or you got a fake one? Right now, I have a fake. I've done real. So my five years in this house, my first year was a real. And it's just too much. The needles are too much. They're everywhere. I got a, the tree I have now, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. Is it white? Okay. It is not, but I love a white tree. <laughs> Italians love a That's white a tree. Yeah, I, it's, I got it at Costco. It's, it's pre-lit. That thing is 10 <laughs> feet tall. I never have to shape it. It comes out of the box. It's up in five seconds. <laughs> this morning, He's this so morning, trash, it's crazy. wait, this morning, I shit you not, at 9.30 in the morning, I took my tree down, I brought it to the storage unit. Oh. This morning. What? Yes, I used, I usually go sometimes even in March. Mid-Feb. I'm a big Christmas guy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Were well, you still turning it on at night, like when you're on? Every night. Sitting watching TV? Yeah, because I'm not going to not do that. It's <laughs> yeah, it's there. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's, what's a guy, Dan? What's I an asshole? I would come home, my girl would be sitting watching television, <laughs> and it wasn't lit up, and I'd be like, what are you doing? What are you, a sociopath? Yeah. You, Who are have, you, the you have the joy right behind you. You could be having the joy. <laughs> you could turn it from white lights to colored lights, everything. Oh, man, that's something else. Ever been to an air show? Yes. Have you ever seen a crash at an air show? No. Okay. Blue Angels? Nice. Yeah, that's good. Nothing wrong with the Blue Angels. Um, have you ever run at a U-Haul truck? Yes. Wait, can I ask you guys a question? Sure. <laughs> are these off the dome? Are you asking, like, is this a standard? Like, no, it's new. It's There's a couple regular stuff, ones. You, how do you keep, how do you, how are you able to find more and because more? Because we're fucking trash, trash, man. I don't know. Know. We're like, living this. We just I told this. you I put the gum on this. He <laughs> gave me shit for it. <laughs> it's an unbelievable feat, though. Because you guys, how many episodes in are you guys now? This is 200 of our That's garbage. insanity. And you had a line of questioning for 200 episodes. And like, there's not. We find the good ones and the I, ones that. I, I yeah, there's that. a mis mismatch okay. for all sure. Right. I, I didn't mean to. Uh, no, to not at all. The, but like the comb one, I literally, I think I, I don't think we've ever used the comb, the switchblade comb. Oh, I do have a comb in my pocket. No, I know, but I'm you saying do? I wrote that two years ago. Oh, that's even weirder. What the fuck? You have a comb? Babe, I got a comb. <sighs> I leave the house with chapstick, a riding utensil, and a that's comb. It's a pretty good comb. Always. I'll give you that. It's comb. only because I grew my beard out a little bit and because mm -hmm. I have a floppy bullshit right now, and sometimes it looks ridiculous. <laughs> but I missed the last question. I <laughs> u U-Haul truck. Yeah, I rented one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what <up? laughs> I like how that's the only guy. Yeah. You haul, I got an account. <laughs> I got an account. But no, there's a lot of questions that people... bucks one way. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of questions They get that... you, though. They get you. Yeah. Oh, well, the, 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 price, get you. the price on the side of the truck, oh, they you're nowhere you. near that price. No, yeah, no shit. Yeah, no, no, maybe yeah. for the propane tank, that's it. <laughs> but no, a lot of people, they want to know, like, different comedians, how they feel on different things. You know what I mean? Here's a big one. Growing up, was it uh, Hellman's mayonnaise or was it Miracle Whip? Hellman's. Good. See, there you go. Do you brush your teeth in the shower? No. Do you pee in the shower? I have. Okay. I don't make it a habit. Okay. All right. If Do you have a tub? catches me off guard. I have a tub, yeah. You have a tub? Do you yeah. have a tub in the shower a tub or separate tub? Separate. Ooh. Glass doors? 
Yes. Rainfall shower head? Yes. This kid's all right. Yeah. <laughs> this kid's doing Local good. Local boy makes good. Tell you that I right got, now. I, I got the Jets, which I never use. Really? Yeah, I, I was like, do it. It's like my first big. I'm yeah, do it up. Do it up. I put the Jets in. I put the handheld, the rain. The Jets never work. They get on. They shoot like a fire hose. They <laughs> slap against the back of the wall. They're, Just, they're, yeah. mis- they're, they're hitting parts I don't need. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, but I do. I did put a steam shower in there, too. Nice. I, in five years, I've used it f- four or five times. But when I use it, it's a real humdinger. I put the, I put the uh, essential oils on there. I get it smelling nice. Love I usually that. do it when I have a cold. Nice. Mm-hmm. He likes to take care of himself. I, I do. I like that. Now, let me ask you this. When you got these new uh, appliances, or even when you got the house, everybody comes over, right? You give them the tour. They walk around. Yes. Sally, it is. That, the other thing. Yeah. I host a lot. A lot. You do? Yeah. My whole family, friends host all the time. Love Did that. you? Do, who, kid is it now. usually at your house is where everyone's coming? Yeah. So Thanksgiving was at Sal's Thanksgiving, house. I don't do. I do Christmas. Okay. But I also host, like, par- birthdays, this, that, the other. Gotcha. Friends and family. Go to Love Sal's. It. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have it at Sal's. But usually catered or cooking? Um, more so than not cooking. Okay. But catering also. Nice. Depends on the, depends. Sometimes a mixture. I like it. Yeah. Very classy. I don't, again, I don't cook. Yeah. But hmm. my I think does. I only got a couple more I, here. I have, a, I have a real quick one. Have you ever been to a dinner where someone paid with a black card? And or do you have a black card? Sal's um, got a black he's card. He's got a black yeah. card. No, I, 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 that I, I don't have one, but I have been at a dinner when someone paid one. You have an Amex, though, right? Yes. You're an Amex. Right. You have a Capital One card? I think it's I think it's 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 like done. I think I have it and didn't cancel it, but they were like, if you're not going to use it. Yeah, what are we it, doing here, Mr. Volcano? We, <laughs> we could use your business. That's a nice wallet. Yeah, be no, careful with the numbers. Capital One. Yeah, of course, that. yeah. Yeah, what are you what doing? Are you You're doing? pulling this out. <laughs> We're in 4K, Sal. <laughs> they'll, oh, be stealing, they'll be stealing the wolf oh, range. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can you catch that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this one's fun. This one's like the... Oh, we got one of them. Yeah. Oh, we just got that, that one's one. fun. It makes you That's feel nice. like it's a lot, oh, but it's yeah. just regular. It's just a little heavier. No, they know what they're doing. It's just like tinfoil on the outside. Oh, the metal. Forget about it. Yeah. Yeah. Stop showing us. We just He's got, got his social security. <laughs> He's waving his social security card around. His cameras work. <laughs> guy's been on fucking 9,000 episodes of television. <laughs> well, we'll be having wolf ranges pretty soon. Hold on, Sal. Put it on Sal's card. Uh, man. Keep butter on the counter or you put it in the fridge? Uh, fridge. Okay. Salted or unsalted? Both. Really? Yeah. Gentlemen, Gentlemen, bagel bites or pizza rolls? Ba- bagel bites. If you had to have a frozen pizza, what's it going to be? It's a very good question. <laughs> also, uh, what'd you grow up with? What I grew up with was Elios, of course. He's nineties K. Yeah, I grew up with Elios. Uh, right now, I'll get like uh, I don't know what she gets from the supermarket. It's like one of those organic. Like it's not. Okay. It's not. I, I California know. Pizza Kitchen's big. Yeah, they, Amy's puts not, out a pretty decent. It's probably Amy's. Actually. Amy's does does a good but job. But I'll also what I'll do is I'll go to like a place like because I had I just got rid of it, but I had a little apartment in Brooklyn. Near table eighty seven and Luzos and all that, those places and some of those those guys they do the like the freeze dried Free, pizza yeah. now sure yeah, and yeah. Then I'll get I'll go get that nice you ever eaten at Rayos really yeah a few times not too shabby I got a, I got your royalty in, I got over here you got an in there yeah yeah nice my best friend's dad knows the guy hey, we didn't mention over, any names <laughs> yeah. right. the fuck? I didn't mention any <laughs> <laughs> my best friend Steve from growing up from Mulberry Lane <laughs> do you currently own a drone no. Were you a fan of the A team growing up? Yes. Yeah, you were. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, Shout out. He's been on an A team binge. Oh, they put him on Peacock. I've been crushing them. We, 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 we were uh, we we're redoing for the first time ever the beginning of the opening credits of the show. Sure. In the next season. And so now we're having these creative conversations about it, and it's been kicked around to, oh. mimic, to mimic the A-team opening. Holy that, shit. That, it probably will not fun. happen. But we, we, used to memorize, we used to do that all the time. We would fucking we'd say the lines. We'd all jump on the bed. I had the van. Uh, you, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. That thing was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. How did they not get caught? The most conspicuous looking van. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah, driving yeah. all over the country. <laughs> yeah. Good writers. I don't know. What do you mean? How did they not get caught? <laughs> um... Let's say you're going to a dinner party at a friend's house, right? You know, we use Verzi a lot. Let's say you're going to Verzi's. Oh, my, Verzi's my boy. I love Verzi. He's the best. Um, you're going to a party at Verzi's bar. I've done it. I've yeah, done yeah, it. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's why I'm, you're taking a bottle of wine or a gift for, you know. Sure. What do you, what, do, you do a bottle of wine? Sure. How, what are you dropping on that bottle of wine? 
Yeah, I'm going. I'm go. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do. Between. Especially with him, he knows. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just you know what you know what sucks when you do it and you have no idea if they know and they just throw it on the thing. With, <laughs> and they're like, I guess they won't. They're making sangria with it. No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit throw out in the pan. <laughs> ah, perfect. I just put the muscles on the stove. <laughs> I mean, if it's if I'm going to someone like if if it's like they're they're making a nice dinner sure. or it's, a, it's a, like a more of a like a like a holiday or something like that. If I'm just going to like a party, you know, I'll get a regular bottle or whatever. Mm-hmm. I usually bring like liquor, but if I'm bringing a wine, not too, a 50, fifty to one hundred. Cool. Okay. Great. Yeah. Very, okay. very, very good. Yeah. Uh, you cut your burger in half when you eat it. No. You f- put when you put the burger back down. Do you put it upside down? So you would bite. And then drop it like that to keep the structural integrity of said bird. Oh, I understand. I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you, Baldy. <laughs> I, I, uh, I think I usually put it back the way it is, but meticulously. Okay. <laughs> he just winked at me yeah, as he yeah. said meticulously. <laughs> hmm. Favorite Gatorade. Um, it now I gotta go with the z- the g the zero sugar the sure. zero calorie one, of course. And it's that light the light purple. Okay. The very light. Yeah. I forget what it's called. Yeah. But growing up, I gotta go just uh, traditional orange. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. When we were kids, all yeah. they really had was orange, yellow, and yellow, red. and red. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You have Gatorade gum when you were a kid. Yes, I did. That was the greatest yeah. thing ever. Yeah. Hundred percent. Um, have you ever been to a bikini car wash? I threw one. What? <laughs> <laughs> but not me. No, 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 no. Just gonna, show. I'm just gonna. <laughs> clo- I'm just gonna close my book real quick. <laughs> I, I did. We did car washes as kids to like make money. Oh, try to make sure. a couple of yeah, yeah, yeah. We also would go to the supermarket and ask people if they wanted to carry their bags from the from the door to the car. Wow! Because they wouldn't let the when we were little, they had up steel poles, so you, you couldn't get, 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 get the car out. out. And yeah, so I like you just that. size up somebody if you saw like a Miko <laughs> woman, you'd be like, this this might turn into a Finsky. Yeah, Finsky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so car wash? No, not I, yeah, no. Not, okay, not on your own accord. Right, you did yeah. it for comedy purposes. Yes, yes, yes. Can you play chess? No. Hmm. Can you name three classical composers? Sure. Okay. You want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you mean right now? <laughs> you mean you want to do it right now? Get back to you in two days. Because I can do it for you right now. Yeah, if you want me to do it. Mozart, Bach, and Galileo. Galileo. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Perry. <laughs> <laughs> you got Bon Jovi. All right. You got Jerry. The boss. Uh, 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 first concert. My first concert was Bon Jovi. Wow. Bon Jovi, New Jersey tour, June 29th, 1989 at Giant Stadium. They filmed the video to lay our hands on me Holy uh, at the thing. You're in there. Billy Squire and Skid Row opened for him. God wow. damn. I'm in that. We sat. I'm in that. Three <laughs> I'm, in, I'm up in there. We <laughs> sat <laughs> a few rows from the literal the top. back top wall. Man. My, me and my mom went. Between that and the station wagon money, you were doing all right <laughs> as a kid. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Holy shit. Hmm. Any paintings of your family? <sighs> no, there's a painting of me, but let me explain that. Oh, my God. True TV did an ad campaign where okay. they put our faces in famous old paintings. And as a gift, they sent me the oil painting with like a gilded frame. And uh, I'm like, I think oh, I've seen I'm this. not a psychopath. I yeah. can't hang this up in my house. <laughs> so I, I put would. it in like a back room because it was lean. And then like sometimes people come over and I have to be like, I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> they sent this. This is a goof. I'll probably I'm take not it I'm going to hang it. I wanted it to be bigger, to be <laughs> yeah. honest with you. But no, no, no. We don't have any paintings. <laughs> but don't look the painting directly in the eye. I'll be <laughs> yeah. there right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, will you get in the express lane with too many items? Yeah, I'll do that. Ooh. Like, what are we talking? I'm not going to abuse no, it. You're not going to abuse I'm it. I'm going to do it so that's... But if you're in a pinch. I'm going to do it so that someone at a glance can't challenge me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I know how to position stuff in the basket, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm not yeah, an yeah, asshole. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. You, you sleep with the TV on? Yes, I do. Sleep with a fan on you? Sure. Really? I, I mean, I would. I mean, not right. I have, and I would. Okay. Not every night right now. I have a little uh, what a purifier too near that. Ooh, very yeah. nice. Uh, not a purifier. Yeah, yeah, Humidifier, purifier. Yeah, yeah. Hum- no, no, a purifier. Okay. What's the yeah. vacuum cleaner at the house? Is it a Dyson? It is. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it is. Of course. Yeah, it is. This guy's got fucking. This guy's got a wolf range. Always. You think he's not rocking yeah. a Dyson? That wasn't oh, always. No, of course. But I tell you what, probably got one of the air blades in the bathroom. I, I tell you, what, I'll tell you. I, those, <laughs> let me tell you. How good is that? That is the. That is the pre. That is the top of the line air dryer, dude. Every time I do it, I go. That the accelerator is not too bad either. The accelerator is good, but it's second to the yeah, it's of, second of to course. the dryer. Hold on, I, are I we talking about soulmate? Are we <laughs> talking about hand dryers in public places? That Absolutely. we are. That we are. You doing? Welcome s- to the show, Foley. <laughs> I, it's, I my day my attitude changes when I get one of the Dysons out <laughs> in the bathrooms. 
I was thinking that we were on the road this week, and I was just like, it just everything because then the handle's not wet. Everything's better, it's, and it's and it's stronger, oh. and it works faster. It's more efficient. That accelerator is going to shake your nose out. Yeah, though. Uh, the Dyson. I got the ball, the animal, but I'll tell you something to change your life. Get the stick as well. Huh. Just the, 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 yeah, oh, the okay. Stick. It, it, it's handheld. It charges. It's mm-hmm. light. It has the attachments. You can use it as a dust buster, but you get the steps with it. it. It has a swivel, so you get right under the couch with it. It's for quick cleaning. It has a turbo boost uh, setting. It'll change your life. And you're doing. You have a cleaning lady or no? Well, I have, I have someone come like once a month. But you're, in, you're I, in I, there. I do. I I don't mind cleaning, and I I do all the in between cleaning. Really? Yeah. Man, hmm. it's fucking fantastic. If I have, you know, if and when I have time, but I do do it. I, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um. um if you, gotta, you if you cracked open an egg, yeah, and there was two yolks in there, are you still eating it? No. Really? What are you talking about? Yeah. I've never even heard such a thing. Really? I would call my local authority. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't yeah. I don't know what that is. You've never seen that double no, double? No, yolk? I would have a lot of questions. I I did it. I mean, I was making scrambled eggs one time. It happened with two eggs. So I had I cracked two eggs. There was four. It was like back to back. Oh, that's a bad batch. I know, man. <laughs> yeah. I still think about I ate it. Yeah. That chicken I, was on drugs. Yeah, man. I still yeah. think about it. That's yeah. weird. It's crazy. Yeah, double yolks. No, oh, my no, God. no. All right, we got to wrap it up. Yeah, we got to wrap it up. Sal, this has been fucking unbelievable. So much fun. This Thank has you. been the most fun I've had on a podcast, I think, <laughs> in my life. <laughs> You heard it here, folks. Yeah. Buddy, thank you so much. Sal Volcano going to be at the Beacon Theater Woo! May 14th. Get, Get tickies at salvolcano.com. You got anything else you want the folks out there to know? Uh, March 11th, the Ryman. Uh, and then I have a tour dates all over. So if yes. you go to salvolcanocomedy.com, they're all up there. And I don't know when this is coming out, but the pre-sale for the Beacon Theater starts tomorrow. So I'm assuming this will be out. Yeah, this will be out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, if it, yeah. That's, I mean, the Beacon is uh, just blew my mind. So fucking my first time solo headlining in New York City. So... I just want to sell the fuck out of that thing. Love that. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Congratulations, Sal Volcano. One of the best. 100% Staten Island garbage. I yeah. <laughs> Trash through and through. But we fucking love you. Catch him at the dump. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it coming in. I mean, <laughs> I live next to the largest dump in the world. Do you realize Red Lobster is not going to leave you alone after this? <laughs> Mr. Volcano. <laughs> so, we heard you stole the thing from him. <laughs> Kevin, what do you got for him? Uh, Chad, we're on the road. We're all over the fucking country. Get some tickets. Uh, at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Subscribe. The whole nine yards. Thank you so much for listening. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.